The question has arisen of what do we do in a post-Mark Wade society? You know, now that Mark Wade has played his hand, I don't think he has any cards left, and he's overplayed the hand that he was dealt. What do we do? First of all, we don't celebrate, in my opinion. I will believe these rumours when I see the proof of them. The idea that this little Reddit thread and a couple of 4chan anonymous posts saying that everything we could possibly hope would happen is going to happen is firstly not the first time we've seen that, and secondly, they're anonymous. Somebody probably just wrote it for themselves as therapy, you know, just to make themselves feel better or to get attention. As for Antarctic Press, I was initially quite annoyed at their decision to drop uh, jawbreakers. But because of realising how small they are, I really don't think I will be blaming them. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost a part-time job for a very small number of people and what they do is, is they provide a good service, they, they do it well. It's the same situation as Image Comics. However, as Diversity in Comics pointed out, he can easily do what Antarctic Press are doing for him by himself. They're just the publishers. They just get it to the printers and make sure everything's formatted correctly. Well, he can do that himself. So it's not been a huge obstacle to diversity in comics. It's been good advertising. We've learned a bit more about Antarctic. We've learned a bit more about the publishing industry. Antarctic are still putting out rags and things like that. I think for their own sanity, I can understand why they did this, but I think they will also regret dropping the book, both financially and because this will not satiate the anti-culture zealots. They will come after Antarctic's other publications following this and they will ask for more sacrificial lambs. The The final sort of point is people have been going on about like getting other creators, other professionals to stand up for so-called Comicsgate. It's a waste of time, guys. It's a complete waste of time. Any comics creator who is within 15 years of retirement has no vested interest in helping us or the comics industry at large. It's much easier for them to ignore the fact that, you know, the Neil Gaiman came up recently in conversation saying, oh, well, he's done his research, he's read his articles, and he thinks it's all, you know, that. What was the situation that they retconned Milkshake Gate into being about... Uh, old Florence who used to work at uh, Marvel and this was obviously bullshit, it was written by the guy who published Melissa Morg and uh, these guys will not understand, they like mainstream things, they will not understand the concept of hey, these guys are a consumer revolt against the publishers and the press and the publishers and press have nothing good to say about this consumer revolt hmm hmm must be a bunch of angry harassers. No, they, these people do not understand. And people like Gaiman, etc., they, they hobnob with academics. They, they're they trying to get into novel writing. They do their work. Largely, they're innocuous and relatively innocent and a bit naive to business, even when they were in comics. And they just, they're creative. You know, that's what they do. However, um, I don't see the, the reason to enlist big names. We don't need to justify ourselves, we just need to continue doing what we're doing. And the thing is, people are saying, oh, but the comics gate is, uh, it's played out and um, Move the Needle is is only associated with diversity in comics and blah, blah, blah. Right, well, just use the hashtag comics. If you want to be taken, if you want our ideas of free speech, of creativity, of fair play, of equal opportunity, if you want these things to be mainstream ideas, treat them as mainstream ideas. Use the hashtag comics. If you're not using the hashtag comics, then you may be at risk of what I've noticed is becoming an echo chamber because I noticed that by using the comics gate hashtag, I was getting a hold of people who agreed with me, but then because it's so polarizing, people who disagreed with me were not going to appear, which is fine. You know, I don't particularly want to wake up to comments on my YouTube's saying what an idiot I am and how I'm wrong, at the same time, echo chambers are unhealthy. So use the hashtag comics. 
if you want to be taken seriously as a mainstream idea, behave like a mainstream idea. If you want to be a pro, behave like a pro. That's what you do. You act like you've already made it and then work out. Try and remember... Pretend that you already won and then try and remember how you did it. That was a, a good line from a Batman comic that I read. And um, that's that's my my thing on it. As for Wade and, and the rest, this is proof that they're going to... They're going to stitch themselves up every time because they are just wrong. So if you just let them be wrong, they'll do all the work for you. Just be go into things with goodwill. Try and be nice. Do a bit of shit posting if you have to, but, but always keep that goodwill. Always be approachable. Always be willing to keep that that good faith in an argument or in a discussion or in a bit of uh, you know banter, and you'll win because these people don't have those things. They don't have a sense of humor. They can't handle life because they have no sense of humor, and um, this is what will be their downfall because they're all ego and egos consume things. So let me know what you think. Please check out the Patreon. I have new goals up. I would be uh, appreciated appreciative if people were to go and check that out and see if they fancy participating and I will catch you guys in the next video thank you very much and goodbye